the perimeter of a rectangle is a description of the distance around the rectangle. All right, so perimeter is the distance around whatever shape it has to it happens to be. Um, okay, so this one they've given us two of the measurements. Uh, you can trust that if this side is five sevenths of a foot, this side is five sevenths of a foot. And likewise, if the bottom is three fifths, the top is three fifths. Okay. To add up all four sides, we're going to have to end up with some common denominators. Um, to start out, let's take care of these two since they already have common denominators. So that would be five sevenths plus five sevenths. That gives us a total of ten sevenths. And then for three fifths and three fifths, that gives us a length of six fifths. All right. And we're trying to add these two because we have to add all four, right? So instead of dealing with all four, I just combine these two, combine these two, and now we'll need a common denominator. It's going to be 35. And how do you get from 7 to 35? To get from 7 to 35, you multiply by 5. So you have to do the same to the numerator. Gives you 50 35ths. To get from 5 to 35, you multiply by 7. You have to do the same to the numerator. So when we finally put all this together, we get 92 35ths feet. Might look a little strange. Um, you can write that as a mixed number. Uh, that would go in there twice, so 92 35ths, um, or uh, that would go in twice with 22 left over. 2 and 22 35ths feet. All right, I would certainly accept either answer. Right, the next one we'll look at is perimeter of a triangle. Um, on this, they've given us all three sides, so we simply have to add them up. As Anytime they ask for a perimeter, they're just saying, what's the distance all the way around? So all we have to do is add, uh, where to write this, 19, 20, and 10. So we get 49 yards. That's the distance around the triangle. Okay, for uh, this circle they want us to approximate the circumference um, and they want us to use pi is 22 over 7. Um, the formula for the circumference of a circle can be written two ways. It's either 2 times pi times the radius or circumference can also be found by multiplying pi times the diameter. Since they've given us the radius we'll use this formula so we just plug in 7 fifths for the radius. So we have C is equal to 2 um, remember for pi they want us to use 22 over 7 so instead of pi we'll write 22 over 7. Um, this is going to introduce a fraction so I'd like for this 2 to become a fraction as well. We can always 
turn it into a fraction by putting it over a 1. And then let's see. The radius. They tell us that's 5 sevenths. I'm sorry, uh, 7 fifths. The radius is 7 fifths. So we put 7 fifths right here. And now all we have to do is multiply these fractions and we'll have the circumference. I definitely want to cancel any common terms. 7 goes into 7 once. 7 goes into 7 once. I should say uh, common factors. You're always allowed to cancel common factors. Um, okay, so now all we have to do is multiply what's left. So 2 times 22 gives us uh, 44. And then that's 1 times 5, so 44 fifths. Uh, the units are inches. All right. And if we want to make this a uh, mixed number, we can simply divide in. So that would be 8 and 4 fifths. So this answer is fine. Or you could write 8 and 4 fifths inches. All right, on this one, they want us to find, notice the exact circumference, and then an approximation using pi is 3.14. So when they want the exact circumference, they want us to use pi. Okay. Um, whenever we use 3.14 or 22 over 7, those are both approximations of this relationship. Pi is the relationship of diameter to circumference. Um, but that's not really critical here. What does matter is if they say exact, you're to use the symbol pi. If they say approximation, you're to use either 3.14 or 22 over 7. Okay, uh, so let's see. The first one, they want the exact. That will be easier. And let's go ahead and calculate that. All right, so we will use the formula for circumference. Um, since they've given us the radius, we'll use circumference is equal to 2 times pi times the radius. And um, the radius here is 25 miles. So for radius, we'll put in 25. All right. For um, pi, uh, well, actually, on this one, it's exact, so we don't have to plug in 3.1. We get to just use pi. And then, of course, the 2. All right, uh, we can multiply the 2 and the 25. Everything's being multiplied, so you can do this in any order. All right. So we end up with, I'm sure you can see, 2 times 25 would be 50. So for the exact circumference, that's equal to 50 pi miles, all right, since the units are miles. That's the distance all the way around this circle. But when they ask for the approximate circumference, And they're going to let us round to the nearest hundredth here. That'll be convenient. Um, we basically, we just take pi and we plug in the 3.14. All right, so we've already done some of the work. So we'll take our um, pi is equal to 3.14. We'll plug it in right here. And now we just have to multiply 50 times 3.14. So now we'll be getting an approximation. 
and we'll just do our calculation over here. When you multiply by zero, nothing happens. Before we start multiplying by five, you have to put a zero in there. Five times four is 20. That's seven and 15. And remember, two decimal places, so you move in two decimal places. And we get 157. The units are miles. So circumference is approximately equal to 157 miles. Point zero zero, I can just drop that.